Now we will review the plotting functions in Pandas. Note that we will come back to more advanced plotting in Pandas over the next couple of weeks after our in-depth data visualization lesson. So this is only a simple introduction. By the end of this video, you should be able to identify key plotting functions of Pandas and recognize the ease of utilization of native Pandas methods uh, with data frames. Let us use this data frame as an example to provide um, for many plot functions of data frames in this um, video. The plot package offers nice visualizations of bar charts where each column is represented by a different color and turned into a bar that goes until the value in that column. Um, another plot option, box plots, generated by the box function, is a good way of showing data distribution. So each box will have minimum and maximum and median for columns if you look at this graph. Histograms, uh, another type of graph, show the distribution of data, and it can show skewness or unusual dispersion between uh, data values. Uh, by a proper use of the hist function, H-I-S-T, we can generate histograms not just for one column, but multiple variables in the data, just like we see in this graph. Additionally, using the plot function, we can create quick line graphs of our data sets. Uh, here we see each column in our data frame represented by a different line and those points uh, connected by straight lines. In summary, Pandas provides a diverse set of callable methods for plotting and they're going to come a lot uh, on our example notebooks as we go through this class. It's fun to explore these plots and visually look at your data in different forms. Um, sometimes you will start seeing things that you don't normally see in the data set by looking at the data. When you visualize it, you'll be able to see a lot more. So we recommend following the link here and spending some more time on these functions and exploring and having fun with these plots.